so let's start this way. Do you know that life does not care about you? Do you know that life will not even pause for you to catch up so you can continue moving? But what exactly is the fundamentals of your happiness and my happiness? Like, I mean, you know that moments that you're jumping, you're jubilating, and you're all about it. What are actually the fundamentals? Well, I have Tangale Nation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have uh, a representative <laughs> from our <laughs> Sambo Solo Wasabi, <laughs> Jemima Ebony <laughs> representing uh, <laughs> Benue constituency, um, Prudence Burger, another Gombawa here. My name is Joyce Jakada. I'm pr- a proud plateau girl. Well, Very from proud. From yeah, yeah, from we are proud. from Governor. You can say we that. Are proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I have we peace. I have peace. You know what? I say I have peace because it's not three to one. At least, even though the other one is it's not as if I'm feeling. No, no, it's not as if I'm fully same. confident. Are you sure? But you are in same hands. Are you sure? Two, two. <laughs> Anyways, this is today's Perfect life. Time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why we are starting this show on this note this morning. But, but, but one No, there won't be any ethno. <laughs> We are all children of God. Okay, and let, me show uh, uh, let me let me borrow all of you uh, uh, today. Stand all of us. We are standing on the solid rock. Mm. We are all children of God. It's a beautiful day. Like the Sabbath said, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Did you hear the name? Ah. And be glad in it. <laughs> so my name is Joyce again, and today <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about. If you're angry, go and change your name. Okay, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> we're talking about fundamentals of my happiness. Hmm. Interesting. Today you see a lot of people walking and frowning their face. Mm-hmm. Some people is like, if you touch me, you see the other side of me. Mm-hmm. Some is, I don't go grieve for you. Mm-hmm. Some like. They are just waiting. They are, they are bitter. They are angry. They are just waiting for the slightest opportunity to see who they will pour it on. But, like, should your happiness be anchored on other people? There are some people that they are not happy because maybe their loved one, their family members are not doing what they want them to do. Or life generally is not going their own direction. Or what they have been expecting from life is not forthcoming. And so they just choose to be bitter, to be angry. But like I said earlier, does life really care about you? If it does, then <laughs> those people that died, like think about them, those that are sick, like life keeps moving. So even if it's, it's, it's an instance of you falling sick or falling, and then, I mean, doing things you don't wish to do, and then remaining there and saying, ah, I'm done with life. How can I be caught in this web? They hold me and then, like, why do people just live bitter? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Sometimes it's, mm. it's uh, ignorance. Mm. Sometimes it's ignorance. Mm. And sometimes we are just being deliberate mm. with whatever happened to us, mm. you know. And the reason why I said, Sometimes it's ignorant because some people out there mm. don't even know that their happiness starts with them mm. in the first place. Because while while growing, you know, everything ab- around them, you know, was built around certain things. Either around somebody, one uncle, mm. one relative, one <laughs> some or, or friend. Mm. You understand? And then um, growing up, catching up with reality. So you are just you are you are left in between. Mm. Is it that what was poured into your head was the wrong thing, mm. or is the society mm. giving you back the negativity? Mm. So in between, you are just confused. But I didn't been in the beginning. Mm. You are groomed in a such a way that you will know everything re- 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 revolves around you. Mm. Not really everything. Because it, nobody is an island, mm. but but you are you are a, uh, you are a center. Um, how would I say? It? You hold your peace. Mm-hmm. You are the anchor. Mm. You understand. So if you know that early, mm. it helps your decisions and how you even treat people. Mm. But if you don't know, that is when you find out people will grow up with. Uh, um, 
with a lot of bitterness mm. because all this was they were thinking mm. all those uh information they mm. got mm. they were thinking was the right information mm. not knowing that you know they were just uh poured with wrong information and it affected them mm. and probably some are not even lucky to meet certain people that will correct mm. you understand and and thank god for today's life that's why you hear some people will say uh, today's life is like you are talking about me now i i i understood life better i see this issue differently but now you know, because you, the you, you know i'm really concerned about bitter people yes like i don't know if you've had personal experience with mm. people that are bitter i remember one time i shared a story of a young lady that at 17 mm. she she already um had high blood um pressure, pressure. because of how that every day she's not happy she has one reason or the other to be sad because mm. she feels that um, this person that's supposed to make me happy or to put a smile on my face is mm. not doing the needful. Mm. Like one of the instances was uh, when when I, I met her actually in, in the university School hundred level. Yeah, yeah, we were regist- registering, and I always she's walking and hissing, or she's murmuring, or she's saying things to herself. And one day I was I was curious and I asked what exactly is she and she said she lost her dad and her uncle, her rich uncle, mm. like cannot even help them. He's just there. He has all the money and look at them. They are suffering and this man is not helping them. And I was wondering, so is that why you've been talking to yourself? Is that why you've been bitter? Is that like, so you, you, you see this person has anchored her happiness. That mm. the only reason why she can be happy mm. is when her uncle transfer money or when he takes up the responsibility. So and trust me, mm. if he transfers money, she will still be bitter because she would say he did not transfer enough. <laughs> <laughs> and this, do you know, Thank you very these much. are the oh people that was, these are the people that will always say, um, Imagine what he's giving me. He gave me hundred thousand. Hey. When he can give one million and not mm. If you so see his house, and, and there are eight <laughs> cars that he's not even yeah. using. You and can imagine this mm. person travel abroad mm. like mm. going like to Darwin backyard. <laughs> you, you understand? And do you know but, that thing? Uh, that just makes sense because you have anchored your happiness on certain things. Mm. Uh, and because you have done that, it's not easy for you be t- to be satisfied. The human nature is mm. mutually designed to want more. Mm. Mm. So if you are if you're anchoring your happiness on the availability of money, mm. then when it's not money there. will never be enough. Mm. Mm. What, whatever you're having, you will still want more. More. Mm. Because you have anchored your happiness on that availability of money. And mm. and you know that when money comes, the needs goes. Mm. Up. Up. when this amount is coming the the need your need just goes up to meet what you're getting mm. so that's definitely you wouldn't be mm. happy if you anchor your happiness on a person see for instance you're in a relationship and you say oh no this is a person that gives me joy in my life mm. that person will bounce his way you will <laughs> cry <laughs> ah you will cry you. <laughs> your, your, your pillows will be so <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it will look like it rained on it. You know, that's where you find people always sad and angry mm. and uh, mm. always didn't lamenting. call me today. Uh, exactly. Mm. <laughs> and then there's also if you anchor your happiness on the fact that you personally you've already perceived the way you are seeing success. Mm. If you anchor your happiness on the fact that you must succeed the way you have already seen it, mm. then you might still be in for a downfall. Mm. Mm. Because I don't know how to explain this best for us to all understand. Happiness has to also do with letting go of certain things. Mm. There are dreams that you already have and your the success rate you're seeing is just very weak mm. and very slow. It's like it's working on a snail speed and you need it to mm. jet. Mm. Mm. We need that success to jet and it's just snail speed, maybe it's a toy speed. I'm trying to find which one is slower. Mm. <laughs> or is slug. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think you get the <coughs> idea. Mm. It's going on that kind of speed. You would continuously be disappointed if you focus on that. Mm. So rather, <laughs> most of the times, rather than focusing on the results you see at the end of the day, I think it's better that you re- you, you focus on process <laughs> and progress. As much as the progress is tiny and little, you know that you're seeing a little bit of progress. Mm. And then the process, you're enjoying the ride. Mm. That alone builds a lot of happiness for you because you feel a sense of accomplishment, the fact that you're moving, even if it's mm. it's next to invisible, but the fact that you're still seeing something, mm. it's it's quite um, 
enlightening so what i'm trying to say at the end of the day is that a whole lot of positivity needs to be imbued Mm. in you as a person for you to be happy we're talking the fundamentals of happiness and what i'm just saying here is that if you're anchoring your happiness on certain things that you want to see then you would not be happy Mm. i I also like to say that happiness is, is, is a mindset Mm. It's a mindset. You know, when you talk about happiness, generally, it's just a state of being joyful. 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 Uh-huh. You know, there are people that sometimes I see and I just wonder, ah, see, what's making this one happy? Mm. Or you see the person, like, he's yet to pay his rent. He's yet to pay his children's school fees. And then you're looking at the burdens that the person has. But yeah, this person, like, almost does not care about mm. the situation. Like, he goes to church, for example, happy, he sings, and then he prays, and he goes. And you, you are thinking on the person's <laughs> behalf, <laughs> like, ah, ah. so you even have the right to be happy amidst <laughs> all this all things challenge. But you see, this person understands the principles of life, mm. and he also understands that, see, is a mindset. All these people, you know, the Bible says, cast your cares on me. Mm. You who are heavy laden, come to me. Mm. So, this person understand that, see, I don't have control over life. Mm. Life will not come and sit with you and discuss certain things mm. <laughs> before it happens. Mm-hmm. And then when certain things are happening to you, life will not pause to even listen to you. Mm. So most of these things, they are, they are actually principles to you sow, you reap, you don't sow, there's nothing for you to reap. Mm. So you must understand that, see, you even owe... if you don't sow, you reap something. Of course, you, <laughs> you reap, reap nothing. nothing. <laughs> exactly. So it's a mindset. Someone was saying, why do you think that my happiness will only come when I have a credit alert? It's you that have made it that way. That you mind. have conditioned your mind that this is the only way that I can be happy. Mm. And that's why oftentimes you see people and you tell them, you people will not understand my situation. Mm. You like you often think that it is your own situation that is more chronic mm. and then more mm. like it's bad than every other. I was tempted to speak some people's English is better than but <laughs> <laughs> let me be the bougie girl that I am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Always building on Gumba <laughs> ah, no, I, mean, no, I will not build wow. on that kind of English. <laughs> so it, sometimes there are people that I see lament and I'm like you have no idea what other people are going through. Mm. Just imagine that we sit, sit in a circle and then everybody starts telling you their challenges. Maybe you wake, you, you just leave that place raising your hands in thanksgiving to God that what? Mm-hmm. So mine is even nothing compared to what this person is going through. But this person understands that because I don't have control over this situation. Mm. I, I, like, I, I should not kill myself over it. Mm. But since I know somebody that is up and above like mm-hmm. this situation, though I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. tomorrow. So I should choose to be happy. Sometimes, you see, this sadness is a devil's strategy to mm-hmm. just keep you down. Mm. And that's why the psalmist said, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Mm-hmm. So I will rejoice. He has already made up his mind that regardless, mm. food or no food, I will rejoice. Mm. If the government like they should do the needful, I will rejoice. Mm. They don't do it, I will rejoice. Why? Because though I don't know what the tomorrow holds, but I know the one that holds tomorrow, mm. he's going to make like everything work in my favor Mm. certain times we don't look at the future we're looking at the immediate what is happening now and then we are just uh, feeling deserted we are feeling the world is against us but see your sadness will not change the situation Mm. you cry it will not change it's okay to cry Mm. there are certain situations you find yourself like Mm. imagine a a loved one being sick Mm. like you you can't help the person and you're looking at the person in pain Mm. like it's okay to cry Mm. but Mm. don't keep crying you are in a relationship and it failed. It's okay to cry mm. for the mistake you've made. Yes. But don't keep crying. Mm. Let me tell you the story. There's this lady. She usually have uh, a, a TV show. like, And then on that TV show, she, she always talks about getting rid of side chicks. Mm. That's the program. And mm. she has a lot of followers. Oh. Like, I was amazed seeing how that... A lot of young married women were always coming to her, calling her for counseling. Oh, their husbands are actually cheating. They have side chicks. How can they get rid of the side mm. chicks? And she would t- I just tell them, uh, okay, what? how is your relationship with your husband? Okay, if always when you're at home, you're busy on your system, is busy on his phone, can you initiate something mm. new into the relationship or give you books to read and all of that? But unfortunately, she was also a side chick. She didn't know. So for some people, consciously, they decide to be side chicks. 
but others it ha- they don't know. They don't know. So they in don't her own know. case, it happened that she's always teaching against because she said for her she's trying to promote unity, she's trying to promote love amongst family. She doesn't want anything that causes division in family. And so for her, anything side chick like a married maybe some people don't understand this language, but mm. a married person having an affair with a lady outside. So the lady is referred to as the side chick. So she was always counseling people, having shows, people call and like some of them their marriage is restored and all of unfortunately she was in a relationship with a married man that his family is in another town and she didn't know so they they, they kept dating it got to a point he engaged her mm-hmm. they were already planning for their marriage so each time he wants to go and see his family we say there's a conference mm. and then he will now go uh, spend like one week and then come back mm. and then the wife too was calling her to counsel her because her husband is always not in town mm. That anytime he comes home, he only spend like one week. So unknown to her that it was the woman's husband. In fact, she was trying to even help her out of the situation. But you see, some people can be that corny. Like, he would not even know that this is what they are actually into. But when she found out, when his wife found out that it was this lady that is doing this program, getting rid of side chick that is her husband's side chick, she decided to make it public. And then she she oh she saw all their pictures together, the engagement, and then she posted it on social media that imagine this person is mm. dating my husband mm. and all. She cried bitterly. She didn't know. Mm. In her case, she didn't know that this person was just deceiving her. He was actually married. And she didn't stop the program. Mm. Interestingly, mm. she went on an episode of that show. She cried and she said, She's not stopping this. She, in her situation, she didn't know, and mm. it applies to also some ladies out there. Mm. They don't know; they were mm. deceived into it. But that that you fell victim of something like this, it shouldn't mean that you you should remain bitter mm. and just end your dream. Mm. You keep pushing, mm. though we fall seven times, we rise again. Mm. So sometimes there are people out there that they make mistake mm. and they live the rest of their life unhappy. Mm. Your dad did not train you in school and then he's late but you're still pointing to him and saying that you are you regret coming out as his child because mm-hmm. he didn't do certain things. You, when you are now an adult, you have the right to, to make, make and correct that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So you see, it, it, it's the state of the mind, mm-hmm. happiness. Mm-hmm. Choose it. You can choose not to stay in this part that is, that is filled with negativity. Like mm-hmm. Putin said, it's about being positive. It's positivity that makes you happy. Mm-hmm. So the fundamentals is you deciding for me, you decide that I will be happy regardless. Do, you know, like there are people that would decide, I'm coming to office today, but as I'm going to the office, I would step on this person's mm-hmm. toe. Mm-hmm. See, I will make sure that I spoil his mind. <laughs> the, this is somebody's decision. Mm-hmm. So imagine that he does it and then you're unhappy. He has fulfilled his mm-hmm. ambition or his dream or whatever he decided mm-hmm. to do. But mm-hmm. imagine he's stepping on your toe and he's, and you're like, well, you just dust your feet and mm. you keep moving. <laughs> you <laughs> want um, one you know thing <laughs> I noticed also is that fundamental of happiness is that happiness is the engine. Mm. Like you have a war clock, you have a wristwatch. Mm. You can break the hands of mm. the war clock, those seconds and minutes. You can break it off if you still work. Mm. Mm. You can do what you want to mm. do if you still work. But the moment the engine is not there, mm. nothing would work mm. again, no matter mm. what you replace. Mm. That engine has to be there. Mm. And that is what people fail to understand. Mm. So they put their happiness in people's hands. Mm. They put their happiness as destinies in people. So once the person fails you, automatically, mm. it's like you're mm. done for the mm. on earth and there's nothing else that is good that will come out of you. Mm. So when you understand that you have the key to your own happiness mm. it makes life easy for you mm-hmm. because you don't look at others you don't depend on other people and then that prudence is having her own happiness in this way mm. doesn't mean my own happiness Must also be. has to be this way mm. yes it's True. good for you to keep clapping for others mm. before your own turn comes mm. it's good for you to rejoice with those that are rejoicing mm. and mourn with those <coughs> that are mourning but mm. it doesn't mean your own happiness will come through that angle. Mm. So you should know that you have the key to your happiness. The, it is a short time for us mm. to live. Mm. We can be smiling this minute and the next minute you hear that this person is gone. Mm. That is why you hear people say, ah, ah we, we laughed yesterday or mm. we did this mm. and that. Because you don't know when mm. your own turn will come. Why don't you want to choose mm. to be happy? Mm. 
Mm. Do you want to look down on earth after you, you have left this, this planet mm. and then you'll be saying, ah, I wish I was happy. Mm. I wish I didn't live this life. Mm. Why don't you live the life that you have in your head, mm. knowing fully well that the happiness you have, you can decide to unlock it today and move in mm. and be happy. You can decide to leave the door closed and throw the key mm. into the ocean mm. and remain unhappy for the rest of your life, mm. knowing that you are the engine for your own happiness makes happiness really a good one mm. you know you know I'll, i'm i'm just going to take a cue from what you were saying um they continue but then I didn't, I didn't. no they didn't oh hear that they didn't God. hear I that did. <laughs> give but well, wait are you not supposed to give credit to whom credit exactly is to? okay <laughs> as she said who is she give her her flowers today who collect from me all this gonna be okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. You have, you have, you okay, you'll have quoted you earlier before now I'm, I'm, from I'm, the introduction. I'm just taking a cue. That doesn't mean we're saying the same point. It's oh just wow. that I'm taking a pride. cue from what she's from saying. So give her her full flowers. <laughs> pride. Excuse me. pride. No, she's not building. She's not building on what she said. She's just taking it's a cue. Does it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. All right. So today it's a, it's a two on two on two thing. No, no, no problem. So as I was saying. Um, il- a lot of times mm. we want to be in full control mm. of our lives mm. that we don't understand that some things happen and we are not in control of them. Mm. Mm. And because of that, you are, you, you, you are expectant of certain ways that you want your happiness to appear. Yeah. You want your happiness to look like this, to look like that, to look like this, and you, you, you've put your heart to it. Mm. And then life happens Mm. and it's out of your hands. Mm. Then you become depressed. So I, I've spoken to a psychologist Mm. and he was, he gave me this, they call it a serenity prayer. Mm. I'm not going to quote it word for word, but I'm going to take just a little bit that I learned from it. It says, Lord, help me to live this life one day at a time. Mm. Um, conscious of what I can do and what I cannot do mm. to do what I can do best mm. as as I can. Mm. I'm paraphrasing a lot mm. of this. To do what I can do best as I can mm. and to live to rest what I cannot do. Mm. Mm. Living one day at a time in view that I'm not in total control True. of this. Mm. If you live like that, then it is reasonable that you would find peace. Mm. So when things that are really draining happen to you, you are not surprised. You are not surprised. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are expectant of any taunts that could come your way, but Mm. you're you're positive that you push through. Mm. What I can do, I will do and go ahead. Mm. What I cannot do, (laughs) I let it go and do what I can do. Mm -hmm. And let my peace be at peace. Mm. And let my peace be at peace. Mm. Mm. I'm saying it again. Mm. Because sometimes we ourselves are the reason why our peace is not at peace. Mm. Mm. We, we, we cause ourselves a lot of mm. turmoil. Mm. We, we put our hands to do things that we're not supposed to do. Mm. And because we're doing that, it, it tends to be storm up things that should have been buried. Mm. And because we're storming up things that are sh- that should have been buried, mm. we cannot be happy. Um, for instance, personally, I I grew up in a very happy family. Then I went to school and met a lot of challenges and all that. Mm. And at some point, I really lo- let a lot of things get into my head. Mm. And th- then, I, then I got to a point that everything was just, if if I cannot do something, I'm just panicking. Mm. The smallest thing I cannot do, I'm going. Oh mm. my Prudence. Jesus! <laughs> this, this reminds me <laughs> of one of the assignments that I was given. Mm. I tried, I tried. It was an applied question. Mm. So and the, I I didn't want to fail. Mm. I used to see like I have phobia for guiding for over. <laughs> <laughs> so and it was yeah, an applied yeah. question by the professor, and it has to do with production. Mm. I didn't have interest in uh, anything that has to do. I searched, I searched all the Google that I could. I tried, mm. I couldn't find answer. But it was something that it was an applied question for you to read and then give your mm. own take on. Mm. 
and I sat there, I looked at myself at the mirror, I said, look at how people are just walking about, gisting, happy, and see me, I'm just struggling, why can't I just be like every other person, and then I remember the fear of failure, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that extra, and I don't want, <laughs> and I just stay crying, mm. like, imagine how I didn't allow my peace to be at peace, mm. I just stay crying, because I had put that my happiness in this school, is just me coming out with the best. Mm. So, because now I'm feeling that if I fail, it will take me backward. Mm. And mm. I was so unhappy. But the good news is that after I finished crying, I wiped the tears. You must do the assignment mm-hmm. eventually. Sure, and you are sure. submitting mm-hmm. tomorrow. Sure. So, I I, I I studied the question over and over again. And I, oh, wow. So, this exhibited me. And I, I just found a way out of it. And mm. it was all. So, sometimes you... See, you can't even imagine the number of people that every night they cry. Yes. Mm. Day and night they are mm. crying because of a situation like food and said mm. that they don't have control don't over. Have control. Mm. Imagine a sick family member or a loved one that you cannot heal. Mm. Like you don't mm-hmm. have the power mm-hmm. to heal the person. You're not even a doctor in, in our own setting. But you are sad, you are bitter, you are crying day and night. Mm. See, it won't restore the person's mm. health. Yeah. You see, it will not. But when you leave, you're bringing the person back. Yes, there gone. are things you have control, and there are things you don't have you control. Don't have control. Mm. Those that I don't have, like things I I don't have control over. It. See, there's somebody that says, "Cast your cares." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if you understand the basic principles of life, he doesn't even care about you. So that's why to throw anything at you. Mm. When life's wailing wind comes at you, you will just God just take absolute control. I don't have power over this, but I trust you to take charge of it mm. and no, no wonder you see certain people regardless mm. they have food they are happy they don't have the food they are happy mm. they just know it's just a face yes, when they find themselves in difficult situation they say it's, it's a face mm. it will pass mm. so so it is important that we find courage like let's find rulers in him the mm. king of kings and the lord of lords just trust him and cast your care be happy like he he gave you another day is a gift mm. Somebody did not wake up. Mm. Another person is struggling in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Some are in the oxygen. Some, the, the, the minute you are, you are crying, they are moved to the mortuary. Mm-hmm. So if I don't have control over it, why not just cast my cares on God and then just live happy, live in gratitude mm-hmm. instead of this complaining, grumbling, exactly. thinking life is that against that you. That and exam, she said that gratitude. That test or whatever. Yeah. So what was the outcome? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I expected that question. Hey, have, you, <laughs> have you ever been given a, a result or be your test script or your assignment script? Yes. Okay, they gave you. Okay, yeah. all this group assignment is to mark and return. Yeah, some they will give you and said uh, you can see your foolishness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See what you have done. See the nonsense you guys have written. You are doing another one again. Some. I didn't but have access to that script. Okay. I didn't have, okay. but I passed. Mm. Okay. I think that's just what I want to hear. <laughs> you know when that when pass, when Thessalonians you, I want talked to make about a point. um, I want so to make she should a point shut up. No, not yeah, shut I'm up. Quiet. No, <laughs> <build> <laughs> up. I thought you were only asking. She will hold up and no, continue. No, 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 no. He has a point, he, he, Professor. You see, you see, she said when when she was struggling mm. with the question, mm. it got her to a point that she started crying. Mm-hmm. She felt better, be, better mm. about the whole situation. Like how how would you say like the whole me? I cannot attempt this question. Mm. And this question is the one now taking my peace. Mm. That's the reason why you cry. But look at it. Later, she settled down. Mm. After settling down, she now did what she's supposed to do. Mm. She mentioned something. She said she went back and studied the question again. Sometimes we don't do that. Mm. After crying, you know, we don't come back and sit down. And we examine the situation Mm -hmm. and see that is this something that I can still attempt or is something that prudence is saying Mm -hmm. is something that is beyond my power. I cannot do and I raise up. So imagine. Or I'm the cause of the problem because most cases, maybe you're supposed to take this part and you took this part. part. That's the (laughs) point I'm trying to get. Sitting down to think, you might retract and say, okay, this is the direction I'm supposed to take. So see, at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. knowing that she passed, Mm -hmm brought back that joy that she lost earlier mm. thinking she would not attempt but she did something yeah she did something mm. so sometimes you know like i earlier said we we choose to be sad you know because we want yeah. 
Mm. You choose it. Yes, it's because we won. Mm. So some sometimes it's being deliberate. You are just being deliberate because you know at the end of the day, if you attempt this, mm. it will at end make you happy. Mm. But you just feel at that point, let's just forget about it. Or you're probably I, in a hurry. Or, or in like a like hurry. I said, I had to go and read it again. Yes. Yes. So in terms of even relationship that we mm. have today, that is a lot of people are dealing with heartbreaks or breakfast and all of that. Mm. You didn't take your time mm. to agreeing or accepting to be with this partner or that partner. Mm. You were just in the wave of the moment. Everybody's in a relationship. Oh, February 14 is coming. How can I be single? <laughs> Valentine is by the corner. And the end, uh, uh, the you statues. know, you're already waiting for boxed all these <laughs> gifts and all of that. Then you're thinking, so that day, I'll just be viewing people start to do <laughs> loving themselves and expressing love in different forms. So anybody that just comes and says, ah, I like you. I'm interested in you and just give the person Mm. So, that you lock, so, that so that you will lock January, uh, yeah, February 14th. 14. That's the mm. intention. Like, mm. So not on the ground that, yeah, you see that, oh, we are compatible. Oh, this is the person that, like, there's no friendship. People just come to you and ask for a relationship or ask for a hand in marriage. Why? You just accept. And tomorrow, you have to deal with their character, with their attitude, with their bad behaviors. And you're just in the court, like you're caught in the web. And it's either you're lamenting, you're wailing. So you have to sit back and relax. What did I do? Mm. How did I get it wrong? Mm. If you're not yet married to the person, mm. you can retract your step. Mm. If you're married, talk, trust God to help you. Mm. <laughs> I read something mm. that um, that if you are a lady mm. and up to now, somebody didn't ask you, what am I buying for you? Mm. Uh, February 14th, mm. you are a man. <laughs> wow. So you wow. see this kind of statement is That's what serious. make people to just go and accept relationship <laughs> that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, when, 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 really when, you, you are, you are when the Serenians talked about mm. Mm. be joyful Can't always, have, but Jemima, be held happy on always. She, she <laughs> don't want to look at that point. When, <laughs> he, the Bible knew that mm. as a human being, you cannot be happy always. Mm. You cannot be joyful always. Mm. But it was saying, try and put effort. Mm. Mm. So it simply means in finding happiness, the fundamentals of happiness is not easy. Mm. It's not a road that is tarred and clean mm. and dust of holes and mm. Mm. all those um, brownish looking water mm. and everything. No, mm. Mm. it's not going to be easy. There will be tongues. The, w- the, no- the road will be narrow. There will be mm. grasses mm. and all of that. But it's saying put effort. Mm. You want to see how much effort you want to put. It's not about the perfection now. Mm. No. But it's about the effort you're yeah, willing to put mm. in being happy. So even in knowing that you can be the reason for your happiness, mm. you can also be a stumbling block for your own happiness. That's you by yourself. Exactly. Not even bringing a third exactly. party into mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So it is saying put effort in finding your own happiness. If you know that going through this path, mm. you will not find happiness. Go through that path. Mm. And if you don't know that going through this path, mm. you will not find happiness. When you go and you don't find mm. it, come back and go this way. Mm. So you're putting effort into finding your own happiness. You're not mm. looking at others. You're not picking um, points and key pointers from other people and joining to make mm. yours. No. no. You're mm. making efforts to finding your own happiness. Mm. You know, what I found interesting in what she said, she spoke about Thessalonians and as we would all know, Paul wrote Thessalonians. Mm. You know what is interesting about most of the letters that Paul wrote, he emphasized rejoice, mm. be happy. Mm. <laughs> I find it a very funny thing because a number of those letters were written from a prison. Mm. So the person that is in prison <laughs> keeps telling people outside to be happy. They are free. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a funny scenario for mm. me. <laughs> Jesus was walking towards the cross mm. to suffer. But mm. he kept on saying, don't worry. Do not worry. Do mm. not be anxious. Mm. Be calm. Mm. Be, be at peace and mm. all those things. And the peace I give you and all those things. Mm. We are in this world... And this world is trouble on its own. Mm. Mm. So you cannot expect that everything will be rosy, rosy, uh, yeah. sweet sale. Even roses have thorns. So mm. you can't expect that everything is going to be so glamorous, mm. so beautiful, so lovely, so smooth. Mm. As she said, the road will definitely be mm. bumpy. Mm. You're not mm. just going to go on a smooth ride. But find reasons to be happy. Mm-hmm. And one thing, one way to actually find reasons to be happy is to be thankful. Mm-hmm. 
it's hard for people to actually find reasons to be thankful mm. but for one that you're breathing and alive it's enough reason mm. to be thankful mm. and happy mm. Mm. so so there are a lot of times that you need to find it even if it's very small mm. you're seeing that everything is choking mm. i know uh, and i'm going to give an illustration right now i know someone who from from she's married so from both sides of the family there are people that just don't want to see her smiling. Mm-hmm. It's like when they see her smiling, it's just, it just gets them angry. angry. Mm-hmm. So, imagine. so sometimes she hears a lot of things that are, that's from her family, from her husband's family, mm-hmm. and it's depressing and all that. But you just find her some days, she's singing at the top of her voice, she's mm-hmm. laughing, she's mm-hmm. smiling, she's happy, she's thankful, and you can't, I asked her one time and she said she knows though that she's getting this much hate. Mm. Sometimes it bothers her. Sometimes we have to call her attention and like stop thinking about mm-hmm. this thing and all mm-hmm. that. But but immediately that face passes, she says, If somebody is not going to do it with you, you'll be with the person that wants to do it with mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Funny mm-hmm. but 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 really true. There are days that you just need to let go of <laughs> certain people that are the reason why you tend to always be unhappy mm. and when we are saying let go it's not that you hate the person no because mm-hmm. that's another way to bring in unhappiness on yourself no we're just saying that you need to deal with them at arm's length if they need anything and you can mm. be able to do it just do it for them because mm. of the pe- your peace of mind and not for any reason but you don't have to have that closely knitted relationship with them. No. You know, I was also mm. going to say that, you see, happiness means different things to different people. Of course. People. And then for some people, they find happiness or things that they should not even mm. engage themselves into. But people come up with all manner of quotes mm. just to suit their lifestyle. True. Like, this life, I can't kill myself. Mm-hmm. Or, um, just uh, make yourself happy, enjoy yourself mm. and... People will just feel, oh, I'm sad. I have this challenge. I can't pay my bills. And let me do drugs. At least I will not, I'll forget about Like, mm-hmm. you will not wake up. Yeah. <laughs> let me just drink so that I can just sleep. And then once I sleep, that's all. But you still wake up. So if you are drinking to sleep, <laughs> someone was saying yesterday, we are going to drink alcohol mm. so that you will not think about your problems. So that you can sleep. Yeah. You will wake up. Of course. Or yeah. if is sleep that is the problem why can't you just go to bed and close your eyes mm. and sleep mm. so people there are people that base their happiness on things that are temporary yeah mm. okay you want to go and drink you want to go and smoke it makes you happy they are all temporary and like we said earlier what you sow you will reap mm. there are some that will decide oh let me steal let me just get the money i've had people say eh, anyhow it's still money mm. so let them just get the money and meet their needs mm. but sooner or later you still find them unhappy there are people that that in fact even go ahead to uh, get involved in ritual activities mm. because they it for them it is do or die affair like either get rich or die trying mm. so because they feel that happiness is in you accumulating material things mm-hmm. so you see happiness comes from a place of peace mm. it comes from a place of peace mm. what makes people not to have peace anxiety fear like you don't know what tomorrow holds Mm -hmm. like if i do this oh i've done that and you're just your mind is cluttered with a lot of things and your peace is seized Mm -hmm. you cannot be happy Mm -hmm. but when you have peace of mind when your mind is at peace Mm -hmm. then you can be happy Mm -hmm. where can you find peace i've often time often time when i converse with people that are maybe into alcohol or smoking and all of that I say, why why don't you just get a, a chair and sit by the roadside and smoke or drink? Mm-hmm. Why do you have to hide? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> you know that this is not good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like societal, it's not even acceptable mm-hmm. in the society mm-hmm. that you have to hide to do it. Mm-hmm. When people, people that engage in stealing and some kind of bad character, b- bad attitude, I still ask, why don't you do it where people can see you? Mm-hmm. Some, some months back, I saw some guys outside the state and the way they were walking, they're trying to hide so nobody will see them. They had to wear their hoodies and they were, they were so conscious of their environment. Mm. And I say, Kai, you see, even living for the devil is even, is it's hectic. Really it's mm. it's hectic. Even cho- choosing the, the wrong path is not easy. Mm. You have every time you're on the run mm. or you are hiding. 
Like, why can't I choose peace to just mm. do the right thing? Mm. Like, if you want to engage in things that are not right, you have to be always hiding. You still you hide because mm. you don't know who is watching you. You are scared. Mm. If you are smoking, you are hiding. You are doing this, you are hiding. Like, it's not even easy to serve the devil. Mm. So why can't I choose peace? Why won't I choose freedom? Mm. All these things, I only get it in Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last, last. <laughs> See, you can't find it anywhere. Mm-hmm. The peace of mind that will eventually give you joy, you can only find it in Christ. Mm-hmm. That's true. Do whatever you want to do. I've seen rich people that are not happy. I've of seen course. people that have mansion that cannot even stay in it. Yes. Mm-hmm. They are running from one hotel to the other. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the mansion you, em- you, you, you envy, you don't know the amount of drugs that is going on right mm-hmm. there. You don't know the absence of peace of mind that these people have. They have the money. Sometimes the uh, joy mm. is the, fo- the the mansion you see out there. Mm. The problem is from the foundation. Mm. Yes, because there are so many incantation, mm. so many uh, uh, very very. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Blood. Y- you understand? Mm. You know they buries all sort of things. You mm. know before mm. they even raise the foundation. So mm. that is when when the whole thing. Uh, you know started uh, uh breaking mm. you know the house become uh restless for mm. them to stay you know mm-hmm. you see people running Always like like run. like you said you know the only peace that you can find you can only find peace in christ mm-hmm. and why is he saying in, in christ mm. because when you talk christ you are talking internal mm. when you're talking christ you're talking internal mm. and that's why he's trying to take our mind to things above mm. <laughs> yes because the world is trouble that you will see. Whether you want to, 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 to see trouble or you don't want to see trouble, trouble always pursue you mm. because already the foundation was distorted, mm. you know, from the beginning. So what do you expect? And that is why God uh, constantly, you know, try to pr- uh, uh, create a way for a man that he will redeem a man. And finally, he gave us Christ and said, okay, this is the way. And Jesus said, okay, this is the pattern of life. Uh, this this um, uh, J.I. Parker said this. He said, the way to be truly happy, uh, the way to be truly happy is to be truly human. Mm. And the way to be truly human is to be truly godly. <laughs> And if you look at the life of Christ, mm. he just came, he's godly. Mm. And he said, this is the pattern mm. of life. Look at all that he did. People accuse him. Mm. Why would you eat with these people? Why would you do this? Why are you doing this? Why? Mm. He just changed everything, the destruction on earth. Mm. He now said, this is the pattern. And it's just only few that understood mm. this, that will get it right. Mm. And he said, that is why you should not focus here. He came to deal with humanity. Mm. And the pattern of how to go about humanity, Mm. he said, this is the principle. Mm. Follow Mm. this. Because as you follow this, you do this to your neighbor. You do this to your friend. You know, you are trying to project me. You are the light. Mm. And then you are the salt. He's trying to tell us this. All of this is is about humanity. Mm. But it's embedded in what? That godliness that is in Christ. Sambo Sulomo, it was the scripture that says in this world there will be tribulation. Mm. So why are you deciding that I will take my life because mm. certain things did not work? Mm. <laughs> you know, a songwriter says that in this world where darkness lies, mm. help me find my light in your word. Mm. There's nothing that is happening in our day to day that the scripture didn't address. True. Like there's nothing that is happening today that you will not find the answer in the scripture. There's nothing happening to you as an individual that has not been addressed in the scripture. Hmm. So you see, it is you see this discernment we always talk about, it will not just fall on you like that. No. It is your consistency with building relationship with Christ Christ. that will help you to discern some of this when they come, you know, you are not like you are not unaware of the devices of the Mm. devil. Mm. There are certain times that things will happen. I I I laugh and I said, Devil, that was you. Mm. Okay, it was the uh, like a deliberate attempt to just steal your joy. Mm. You think he's happy that you're smiling, that mm. you're happy. Mm. He mm. is in, and that's why the scriptures say he rolls like a lion, mm. looking for who to devour. Mm. And once you're available, he's done with you. He moved to the next person. He says Bible he's rolling. He says, the devil mm. come to steal, mm. 
to, to kill and to, and to destroy. And all these things. What do you think what? is coming to destroy? Mm. Is that peace mm. that Jesus is giving you? Mm. He's coming to steal it, mm. to destroy it. Because once that is not there, you are vulnerable. Of course. You're and vulnerable. you know our happiness a lot of times we base them on material yeah. things. Mm. Yeah. That is why he will come and steal mm. it, kill, kill it, it and, and destroy it. it. Mm. But imagine your happiness is not based on material yeah, things. Mm. You know the point you mentioned the point mm. you mentioned earlier on where you, you just want to build mansions and have money. You won't even dwell on that. Mm. Your happiness will not be based on money. Mm. You know, there are people that so much want to have money, mm. want to have the power, mm. that they go through fetish things mm. to get it. Imagine they give me a lot of money and tell me I only mm. have two years to live mm. or five years to live. <laughs> so how am I even supposed to get the mm. happiness? Yes. To enjoy These days are once is January before you know it's December. <laughs> 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 so I really, if we can base our happiness on things that <laughs> that that will not rot, mm. things that mud will not mm. come and mm. destroy, mm. rat will not pierce through, mm. and all of that. Imagine what would the devil come to destroy? Mm. He's not. He's heavenly things. Set your mind mm. on things, things above. above. Heavenly and, things and that and to, these to, things, to add earthly to what things, you said, if, if your happiness is in Christ, mm. that means it's internal. Mm. The devil, that's ha, the he only thing no he, he cannot has destroy. No to it. That's he the only thing he cannot you destroy. Will, you, you, you will give up. <laughs> exactly. He yeah. won't go. And, yeah. and what you just said just reminded me, and I, I love I love the story of Job because he has, he's an inspiration for mm. me. Mm. See, Job had everything. And he lost everything. They lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. Mm. So mm. it's expected that Job would just run into depression, mm. kill himself, and be gone. Mm. But you see... The wife is more depressed than him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> she was the one advising him, mm. like, she kill yourself. Just, uh, just cause, cause God, God and die. die. <laughs> so, this story so, of Job, eh? So <laughs> that's, that's one person that mm. did not mm. set his mind on the things that he gained. He said this, and I love this question because... He said, should we only accept good from the Lord? Mm. Mm. Some of these bad circumstances also come to for to mm. us as tests mm. from mm. him. Mm. Mm. Part of the package. James yes. James one two says, uh, My brethren, count count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that mm. the testing mm. of your faith produces Wait, let me let me put it this way. Count it all joy when you don't have food. Mm. Mm. Count it all joy when they break your heart. Count it all joy when you are disappointed. Mm. Count it all joy when you lost a loved one. Mm. Like count it all joy. Uh, See, God is not <laughs> unaware of our situation. <laughs> we but count just we pick the joy. The end part. He, he said he said he, the, the end part. He said, knowing mm. that the testing of your faith mm. produces patience. Mm. Mm. So, it's so only patient people that will tell you, mm. no, this time is Joyce's time. Mm. I will wait patiently. Mm. I will clap mm. I'll wait whenever. For my... I will wait for my mm. turn. Mm. If it comes, fine. Because it takes a and different it, kind of yes, virtue for you to be happy for somebody. That is mm. it. Mm. If it comes, cannot. fine. If it didn't, it didn't come, what is that thing mm. that now I can boast of? At mm. least I'm living. I have mm. two hands. Mm-hmm. Somebody is lying down. Or somebody right now, they are pushing him. True. Somebody cannot do something by himself. He, he, somebody has to help him. Mm. So when I think of this and I said, God, I'm grateful. Mm. You see that patience. But it's not all. It depends on how deeply you are rooted mm. in the things of God. Yes. It very depends. True. Because like you earlier said, all of these things, yes, you said, uh, yes, you are responsible for your happiness. Mm. Yes, of course you are. But you are not an island. Mm. Sometimes you can be alone. People can just decide to leave you alone. Mm. And then um, sooner or later, you will start, be, okay, prudence. So you have sharing me, right? Mm. <laughs> No call, no text. I hmm. know uh, uh, if your happiness, yeah, your happiness is alone now. Hmm. Y- you understand, but you see this life we that have to. That responsible deciding what gets into you and what gets out of that you. That is it. So that we have to create balance, you know, in this life. Know that there are some, there are certain things that hmm. yes, we can do it by ourselves. There are certain things that are beyond us. But all in all, who is in charge of your life? Hmm. Who is in charge? And then that's that spirit of discernment that you talk about. Yeah, it, 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 
it it doesn't just come like that it comes from your your study mm. your willingness to know deeper things about god mm. so that you will approach life differently mm. we know that it's not easy because sometimes you give your all not knowing to certain people at the end you just know that you are just manipulated and then probably you're putting your 10 years five years into something mm. and then just for you to wake up and then you did your own part you're mm. faithful you're committed to mm. whatever mm. and then you just discover that you are just being uh, uh, uh manipulated mm. and then you find out that maybe maybe those years that put in put put in in those years you feel that like you've wasted your time but i encourage people mm. i said if you get into anything that you are that you are uh, you are not the one that deliberately you know put yourself in that situation god knows and he's watching and nothing nothing will go unrewarded, mm -hmm. whether good or bad. Mm -hmm. So in your own part, just do the right thing. Mm -hmm. You have saved yourself. Mm -hmm. Whoever took you to that journey mm -hmm. to manipulate you, and then now you are feeling bad, mm -hmm. God knows how to take care of that. Mm -hmm. But at that point, don't think that all is gone. Just like the story of that lady, mm -hmm. you know, with that program. Mm -hmm. See, she continued. She have done her part. Mm -hmm. The man now, is between him and God, and definitely God would deal with him. Mm. And from that point... But he point, lost his family because the, the wife picked the children and left with them before he left. That's the beginning. Mm. So the side chick too left him because she didn't know that she was dating a married man. So he was just left to himself. So mm. so, so, so you see at the end... And he thought he was chopping life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, at so, the end of the day, two zero. Yes. You, know, so you see, it's important mm, that yeah, it people is. understand mm. this. Like I said earlier, I'm repeating myself. Life does not care about you. Life will not wait At for all. you. Thank it's you important God. that you find purpose. Mm. When you find purpose, then live purposeful. Mm. Because when you don't find purpose or you are yet to realize what your purpose of existence is, that's why life willing will keep toasting you to and fro. Mm. To and fro. But when you know the purpose of your creation and why you are living, mm. like why didn't you die last mm. year? Why didn't you mm -hmm. die when you were one? or two or ten mm. you're still living mm. there's a purpose there's a reason why it, like someone that you see as more righteous than you is dead and you are still alive mm. there's a reason why you're living when you find it you walk in it it's just like you having a plan and having a strategy if i know that that's my plan i work towards achieving it but when i don't have plan when willing wind toast me this way i go Tomorrow I'm here, I'm there, and I'm not happy. Mm. No wonder people put their happiness on other people. And That's when strong. the people disappoint you, mm. you are broken, mm. you feel deserted, you feel life is against you, forgetting that the person that kept you alive is for a purpose. Mm. I've seen people that, because of love of a loved one, father, a mother, a brother, or sister, or sister, they are broken, mm. and they just feel even God is against them. Mm. Mm. But the scripture says there's time for everything, everything, a time to be born and a time to even die. Yeah. So if you have that understanding, you know, like the scripture says, the death of a believer is like him having a sleep, resting. Mm. So you know that your confidence that someday we will meet again. Mm. Like I'm saying, it's not that easy for you, but when you cry, wipe your tears and keep moving. Mm. The, like the songwriter says, all you should desire is to find light. Mm. And finding that light is in the word of God. Mm. You see, most people around you are not keeping that relationship because your name is Sambo. Mm. But for most people, for what they get from you or the value that you give. Mm. So in, in living your life on earth, in relating with people, also understand that you need to prioritize self-care. Mm. There are a lot of times that we forget about we and we keep doing others. Mm. You are in a bit to satisfy people, in a bit to be look nice. good. Mm. You are just trying to be nice. nice yeah. And then you Instead forget being you. Kind. Mm. Yes. So people need to understand that you don't have to be nice. Just mm. be kind. Mm. In being kind, then you're everything. You're mm. being human. Mm. And you're being the image of God. God. So <laughs> your happiness lies in you knowing why you are existing. <laughs> and when you know why you're existing, you know that life is filled with challenges too. Mm. Then when it comes, you know that it's a phase, it will pass. Sure. When we have that understanding, I think it's going to help us to live happy. The mm. fundamentals of our happiness lies in our mindset, mm. the state of our mind. We decide, in fact, it's a deliberate action. You have to choose it. Mm. So the anxiety, the fear, the depression is a choice. Mm. So choose that regardless of what is happening, I'm going to be happy. Mm. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know the one who holds mm. tomorrow. It's been a great and discussion. And over expectation too, mm -hmm. you know, mm. killed. Mm. 
Mm, over that's, expectation. That's, that's very true. Yeah. Our time is actually fast spent. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Like You're it's welcome. my pleasure to have <laughs> both Gumbawa and Denua. <laughs> then <laughs> let me stop there. <laughs> <laughs> really want to appreciate the Equa Executive for um giving us all the support. Thank you, all Equa TV um supporters. Thank you, cast and crew. Until we come your way tomorrow, same time. Always follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Equa Television International. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.